when geometry changes, how do I avoid those dangling sketch entities? We're going to look at three tools that are going to help with that. Detach segment on drag, no self move, and replace entity. So how do we get a dangling sketch entity in the first place? Let's open another little piece of our game here, which is this little settlement. If you know Settlers of Catan, we have settlements. My settlement is a little fancier because I had a door and a window because I need some child features that are going to go dangling in order to explain this for you. So settlement, then the next level up, right, is a city. So I want to, let's do a save as. And I want to take this base geometry. I want to make a city out of it. I'm going to make a um, city too, just because I don't want to overwrite my other existing city. So to make the city, let me show the, um, let me show what the final result is going to look like for the city. Here we go. It's taller on the left side. And then we have kind of like a, an addition on the right side of our house is what we need to uh, get to create the city. So if I edit this sketch, basically I want to take this right side and I want to pull it, pull it over to the right, but I can't, right? Because it's already fully defined as it should be. That's good. So what I need to do is I need to, well, I guess I could, um, I guess I could just delete this, right? I could delete this whole right side and, and then grab another, grab a line tool and go down and over and and down and and then let's see just pull this guy and yeah there there's the shape that i want great perfect fully defined okay exit uh dangling my window has gone dangling if i edit the sketch it's like, okay, I don't know how, it didn't know what to um, measure that, that distance off of. I could just drag and drop, grab that red drag handle and reattach to that bottom edge there to reattach that. Okay, cool. Nothing's dangling anymore. Oh, we're still at error. What? Hover. Could not find face or plane. Okay, let's edit the sketch plane. Oh. So basically what it's saying is, that line inside of the sketch, when that got extruded, it created a face that had a certain internal ID, it's called. Uh, by the way, let me just, I could fix this by clicking there. Better to avoid the dangling in the first place. So let me undo, let's go back, let's uh, reload, file reload, and go back to what we had in the first place. So what it's saying is when, when this sketch got extruded, this line on the right, right that ended up generating this face, that has a, a certain internal ID. And even if I exit the sketch, or excuse me, edit the sketch, because of instant 3D being on, you, um, since this has been extruded in the past, you see the yellow preview, right? So this line gets extruded and it creates this face, which has an internal ID. This line gets extruded and creates this face. The intersection of those two lines, this endpoint that's shared between those lines, creates this edge, which has an internal ID. So everything has an internal ID. Edges, faces, vertices, they all have internal IDs. And if I delete this line, even if I put another line back in exactly the same place and hit OK, you're going to get dangling sketch relations because this face now has a different internal ID. It's a different line that was extruded. This edge has a different internal ID. This edge has a different internal ID. And so that's why we end up with these dangling sketch uh, entities. So how do we avoid that? So let's undo. And instead of deleting the line, let's go all the way back to a good spot, right? And let's edit again. And this time, instead of deleting this line, or even instead of trimming it, even if I were to say, like I could go like this and then trim and then 
okay, well now like the top half of the line is the same ID, but the bottom half is different. So if we take a look at where the window goes, yeah, it stayed on this face, right? It's the top half of the line created that. So now I would still have to edit the sketch plane, pull it out over to this face and so forth. What else, do, what else can we do? Let's go all the way back to file. Um, let's exit the sketch and go all the way back to file reload. Straight off the disk, brand new, fresh, open. And this time let's, let's use a different tool. I have customized them here onto the sketch tab of the command manager because these are the kind of things that you kind of want to see. They're kind of like instant 2D. Do you want to see whether it's on or off as you're working with it? It's kind of like a, a mode that you're not going to necessarily always want on, but I'm just going to want it on, do a couple things and then turn it back off into regular um, sketch mode. So right now, if I pull on this line, which is fully defined, right? Nothing happens. I can't move it. But if I toggle on no solve move and then pull on that line, what that means is that it, it's able to um, not have to solve those, the fact that those endpoints were merged together in this case and um, just move the entity, right, without, without solving the rest. Now, it did keep the 10 um, dimension on there, so I'm only able to move it in ways where that endpoint stays 10 millimeters away from the other. I could just drag that, grab that little end of the dimension and put it where I really want it, which is on that endpoint. Now I'm able to pull this line over here and grab uh, uh, a couple more lines and then drag and drop together. And let's put this to 20 and these equal. And there we go. No dangling. Let's do it again. File, reload. Yes. Okay. The Another choice that I have instead of um, no solve move, and by the way, um, I would want to turn that off you don't want that happening unexpectedly, right? So turn that off when you're done with it. Let's do the next one, detach segment on drag. This one I customized under the sketch tab of the command manager. You can also actually find this one right on your shortcut um, context, excuse me, your context toolbar. No, I'm sorry. That's uh, um, my fault. It's on the right click menu. Uh, we're going to talk about re replace in a second. Right click detach segment on drag is another place that you can get to it. But again, I like to have it on the sketch tab of the command manager so that I can see when it's toggled on. If you didn't have that button up there, it would be on and you wouldn't know about it because you can't see your right click menu all the time. So detach segment on drag, very, very similar. You're gonna get about 80% overlap in functionality between no solve move and detach segment on drag. The difference is how it treats, um, if it's able to delete existing sketch relations, uh, no solve move is able to delete sketch relations in order to try to accomplish the drag that you did, whereas detached segment is not able to delete. On the other hand, detached segment is able to detach only one end and not necessarily both ends. So if I just pull on the line, I'm going to get the same, um, the whole line detaches. Except look where the dimension left. It also, you get a little bit different behavior on wh where the dimension goes, if there was a dimension at the endpoints. So, so far, it looks like very similar to no solve move. Let me do one undo. But notice these purple square at the endpoints. I don't know if you can see, and it doesn't really help that much to zoom in, does it? When you have no detached segment on, and I just single click to select the line, the endpoints show these purple squares. And so what I can do is I could drag just the endpoint in order to uh, detach it. And I, I wanted to do the opposite one. I forgot how my city worked. It's the top that I want to add to. So again, then I could go with a, a line and a line. 
double my height. This little, um, because I had that preview sketch dimension on, kind of kind of gets in the way. It kind of wants to stay on and get in the way. Just select it and hit delete if that's the case. Uh, so that was preventing me from doing my window drag, window select across those three. All right, so equal. And there we go. No dangling. Let me go back into the sketch, edit sketch. Another thing I like about detach segment on drag is it actually turns itself off when you exit the sketch. So it does stay on for as long as you keep it on while you're, you know, in the sketch. I'm, of course, I'm going to cancel this, but, you know, I can pull apart as many of these as I want. It stays on until I turn it off here. But when I exit the sketch, it also turns off. That way, next time you ever ex edit a sketch, you're automatically in the mode that you're expecting to be in. So I discarded those changes and exit. Let me do one more thing, which is replace. So I, let's let's sketch. Um, now that we have the height here, we have room for, let's put like a circular window up here, right? And let's grab um, a smart dimension. I could have done the numeric input, but I did the drag method of creating the circle which means the numeric input went away. If you're going to do numeric input, you want to do click, click, by the way. So let's say, uh, let's put a vertical here and let's put a, a dimension from this top of the doorway. And I want to get a smart dimension so that it's a, a vertical dimension, not a normal. Okay, love it. And good, let's cut it. Let's cut a little. Love it. Now, oh, I changed my mind. I want, instead of a square door frame, I want to arc on the top of the doorway. So let me edit this sketch and let's add an arc. So we'll go three point arc. Beautiful. Mm. Let's see, what if I just change this uh, top line to construction geometry? Right? Good. Now give me that shape instead. Oh, again, changing that um, line to construction geometry means that these faces, right, and this edge now has a different internal ID because this at this model edge is the result of the line and the arc getting extruded. So, all right, undo, undo, undo. Let's try it again. So. A what I can do, no kind of move or detached drag is going to turn me from a line into an arc. I do need to draw the arc. But what I want to tell SolidWorks is I want to tell SolidWorks to replace this line and the internal IDs that um, on the edges and vertices and so forth that I generate from extruding it with the arc. So you can find it right on your context pop-up toolbar replace entity and I already have the line selected so replace this entity is already filled in with line one and I'm going to say replace it with this one the arc I'm going to click the arc and say okay now when I exit sketch as you can see no dangling so those three tools are very powerful for avoiding dangling sketch entities. Turn them on, try them out, especially the detached segment on drag and the no solve move. They really take sort of getting accustomed to what the result that you're going to get. I'll show you what I did. Just make a sketch and I put, um, you know, on one, on the left side of the origin, I sketched a rectangle. Uh, I, I sketched a rectangle single on both sides of the origin. And then on the left side, I pulled it apart with no solve move. And on the right side, I turn, then I turned that off. And then I turned on detach segment on drag. And I pulled it apart. The one on the right, I pulled apart with the detach segment on drag. To see the difference. It also depends on where the dimension was put. Like, was the dimension... Um, put on the length of the line itself, or was the dimension put on between the two parallel vertical lines, for example, on this 70 dimension? Or was the dimension put on between endpoint to endpoint? 
you're going to get a little bit different behavior in those three different situations. And sometimes you're not going to know, you're not going to be able to tell how the other person who sketched this in the first place, if they put on the dimension endpoint to endpoint or line to line. But if it's something you yourself are modeling and you can decide which is the best practice that you want to use as your first choice, then this may impact that. Okay, so then I did, what if I drew line arc, line arc, or what if I used a, um, a sketch slot? What if I used the um, polygon? What if I did a circle and I made them concentric just by putting their centers together versus if I made them concentric with an actual concentric sketch relation? All right, then what different behavior do I get if I use no solve move versus if I do detach segment on drag? Those are the kind of things that I did and I just experimented in this file to understand the difference between those two tools. And like I said, the most of the time you're going to get about 80% of the time, I would estimate you get the same result or at least the result that you get, the steps that you're going to take afterwards is going to be the same number of steps either way.